Hello everyone, it is TwinBlaze here, back again with another video. Um, so we recently just left off with the Tycoons and the GUIs. Um, I will be making a video soon on beams of, like, directing you and tutorials, like, on the intros to Tycoons and etc. So I will be doing it in part 3 of that, and pets, too. So there might be part 4, part 3, whatever. <laughs> um, so today I'm doing a video on how to use Roblox lighting. And if you guys want more videos, just random things, just ask me and I'll do it. Um, I'm planning on making one on just cleaning free models and stuff like that. That's just really easy because, you know, working some times of time, you actually can use your own free models and people's models. That you just It's super easy to get, you know. Um, if you do want me to make a home store, I'm planning on making one soon, so just let me know. Um, so let's get started. Uh, just, of course, like the normal thing, I want you guys to make sure you have... Um, your own world. You can just do a starter world for now if you want, or whatever. Um, we're gonna be focusing on which kind to, what kind of lighting you want. Okay. So recently, I've just been making a horror game, and people have been, uh, and things that you wonder, wonder is how you make it really scary and dark. Um, so first thing th first is right here. Uh, lighting is the main thing. Okay, of course. Um. Lightning's lighting's gonna be the main thing for us, so I'm just gonna make that bigger. Um, the sky, I'm just gonna put that in replicated for now. So the normal default lighting sky is th this is the sky box. Um, if you normally just check on models and you go, uh, let's see, sky, you just search up sky. There's tons of super skies, and you could go from this, and it would all probably be put in there. They have all these kind of skies and stuff like that. So if you guys want one of those, go ahead and use them. I recommend something like. A simple just like this for very nice things I, right now I'm using this one if I was right um you also this one's very nice too a mountain if you search up nighttime it's very nice to get something like that or um uh just a little skybox thing so like that that works too so we're gonna go first of talking about how to use the lighting and what we're looking for so first of all let's talk about um lights point lights if you see I like these fires are um lighting up other things and uh like things around it if you do insert um insert a part here like this and then go here and point light so point light is uh debating a brightness of uh the light so normally what you can do is just insert that go to color i would recommend doing a. you can normally pick two if you want but if you go let's go to tannish color something like this would work too honestly so like this this is like one part that's just point line if you want normally what other people do too is you could do transparency like that but something big you can realize is if you go to make a a bulb or something if you make this neon okay and then let's make it a just a tan real quick see how the light is like that um and make sure when you guys always create a new part to anchor that um so Okay, so we just created a new point light. These things can react like on top of the walls and the shadows and stuff like that. So if we do do that, um, I'm gonna actually quickly ungroup this to. It's gonna lag. There we go. Okay, so another thing to focus on um, when you're doing lighting with point lights is okay. So cast shadow. These parts right here. If you don't cast, if you do cast shadow, let's do actually down here. So right there, and this light, um. If you don't cast shadow, it makes it a little bit more uh, dark. But normally, it's recommended to cast a shadow and stuff. Um, but so there's that. So there's just a simple point light. Let's just add that right there, just for the heck of it. Um, when you're doing lighting, I would uh, focus on a few things. Okay, so we got ambient here. Ambient just changes the pretty much literally the the lighting of everything. So this is like the main thing. So like if you were to do green, yeah, it's gonna change literally everything green. Just, just know that. So, something to know about ambient. If you're doing a scary game, just, just keep it on black. If you want something more bright, just want to make your real thing bright. It's, I would stay within the colors of white to black. If you are in a certain range that you want to get like a little bit more colors of red and a dark kind of thing, go ahead and use that. What it's basically doing is on every part that it's on, it's, it's gonna be bright like that. This is basically the sun, pretty much. Um, brightness, it's, as it's described, it's the sun, basically, so how bright you want your world. 
Um, what I did is for my scary game, I'll I'll show you guys that in a bit here. I kept it uh very low, just either one or point eighty three. Um, color shift, kind of the same with the whole uh lighting thing. If you do look at all right, how these lights are getting right here, if I do go black or just a dark color, it's just normal for that to happen. If I were to go red though, so let's go with a red. Um, it has that like. Just the lighting of the red. I actually kind of like that too. Um, color shift top. It's going to be the uh, same kind of thing. I would recommend staying within the um, the range of just black and white for these. Um, but let's see. That that works. That's like okay color. Um, so like these things, I would just black is a good color. Um, these ones I don't really understand. But they're mostly what I remember is the sun. So the the sun direction, if I'm right, the fuse, I don't know. Maybe that's just how much you want from the top or the bottom. Um, those you can mess around by yourself. Something like, that's honestly pretty sick if I do that. Let's just say that. Um, global shadows. Shadows. I would honestly always keep this on. If you want your game to look very nice, keep this on. This is the main thing. Just just adds so much detail. Um, outdoor ambient. Okay. So this one is another thing with the sun, the whole thing. If you want your game to be really just any type of color and all that stuff, use this. I would recommend black, okay? So right now I got black. That's just that's just nice. So like I'm making this look at look at that already. That's just just looks so much better. Um so I got this this whole thing just looking really, really nice here. I'm gonna actually go with the instead of that, I'm gonna keep it black. And the color shift bottom. Let's go with like a light. Actually, no. Let's go with it. Let's go back with that. Uh, blue actually. No. <laughs> I'm not really good with this one. Let's go with the black. Um. Okay. So, ambient just changes really the color and everything. Just pick screen color. You know, you can choose what you want. Uh, let's go. It's actually pretty smart. I got. Um. I'm gonna go with the brown. Actually, no, I'm going black. <laughs> so, there you go. Technology, I recommend compatibility. I mean, it, it's pretty nice, you know? That just really shows you what you really want with all the colors. It brings out everything. Um, so, that these are golds. And then, uh, there's Shadow Map. Wow. That's, that's nice. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. There's a lot. I would recommend worrying about... See, like shadow softness that's very nice with that um i'd recommend worrying about which one do you want you know you got you got compatibility with the just a normal lighting you just fix it up shadow up and voxel voxel is very very recommend with that it makes your game look very nice um see with this color it's very bright now um if you want shadow map uh it doesn't really change anything but add a lot of shadows so i'm gonna actually stick with the shadow map for now this makes my ship really nice here um now, clock time. When you're doing clock time, I would realize there's a lot of things with this, too. If you look at the ship right now, the shadow is going based off the clock. If it is at 18, that is nighttime. Uh, my thing's making it different, but like I said, it looks very nice right now. Oh, man. Um, so, I would recommend just doing something like this. You know, this works really well. Uh, but, let's see here. I'm going to go with a... I'm gonna stick it with the light for now. Just might as well. So, um, the graphic latitude. This is uh where the sun points. The, oh, this is what the one was. Okay, this is where the sun points. Um, sorry about that. That's what I forgot. So, like I said, I'm gonna stick it on the day 255. This is guys. This is just me making something. Like I'm, I'm surprised. This is just something for trying stuff new. Um, time of day. It's the same thing with the clock time. You can just change that if you want to do that way or either way. Exposure suspension compensation. I mean. This is just like fucking poof, bright stuff, okay? Um, I'd recommend just keeping it at the zero. If I can find it. The zero works. Um, so yeah, so this is my shit for now. Fuck. I will be honest, this is the main thing if you're gonna use a scary game or make one. I would so fog end is how far you want your fog to end, of course. So if I were to go 100, see like, oh man, like this is, this is gonna look good. I'll go actually maybe for my ship. I'm gonna go a thousand. Actually, go 
500. Nah, uh, 600. So, fog is is honestly a good thing to add into the game. It it really makes the game just really scary and stuff. Um, there's a few things when you're making fog. You can have it so, um, either you're going to be doing it where fog is, uh, going to be a different color. Like, it depends. Uh, for a scary game, if you're going to be really in the dark, honestly, go black. Uh, that's what I did a while ago, and it just, it just made it really nice. So, that's something you can realize, but, uh, something like this, this just, this is just very nice with that. I mean, I'm gonna take a screenshot. This would be the thumbnail. <laughs> there we go. Um, so yeah, those are those are a few things with the lighting. I would honestly just focus up up here and with the fog. Clock time, something to realize too. Um, so that's one of the main things. Another main thing is just the skybox. But now you got a few more things to worry about. You got the what's it called? Um, let's find them here. There we go. Post processing processing effects you got a bunch of things okay we got blue uh i'm gonna add them all in real quick color effect color correction all right bloom uh you got the sun rays sun rays is very nice i'll talk to you about that soon <coughs> and blur that already did that that's weird okay so blur pretty simple thing honestly this makes your game really like antique i would stick within the range of one to five one to five i'm gonna go with the four right now so my game's looking really freaking nice right here um color correction now this really helps when you're doing with lighting because this can help bring the brightness and everything up but i would brightness stay with the zero on that maybe do that in the lighting instead contrast uh this is another good thing to realize about you can make an old game like mine like let's see like this this is like kind of an old-fashioned game um it depends what you really want um do whatever you want with that the contrast just makes it deeper color, lighter. Saturation, something to worry about this. I would honestly, if you're trying to make it really saturated, do dark. If you were to make a black and white game, bro, you could just do what I'm doing right now and make it a black and white game. Like, I, I've never seen one in Roblox, but I think it's very nice to do. Um, But, let's see here. I'm going to go with a more saturated, because that's kind of nice. Um, sun rays, I don't know if it would be right now, because my sun it is a dark clock time. Sun rays are the main things to when you play the game. Uh, people do wonder. I don't know if it will happen because the lighting is not. It's the clock time set to 17, so which it is dark. Um, but if it does work, let's see here. I don't think it will. Yes, it, it won't. <laughs> um, so the sun rays, what they are is the little light beams. I'll show you that right real quick. Just show you an image because I... Too late to show you. I mean... Just don't want to show you. So they're the, the basically the sun rays. Um, those things can help a lot within. Those are actually beams. These are actually beams. But um, uh, sun rays are actually no, they're not beams. They're sun rays. But sun rays are like the things you can use for that. Um, I do recommend them if you are not doing a scary game. Um, they're they're something that will really pop the game and make it just very very nice and bright. See like. This is the main defaults of lighting. These just are very nice, and I'd recommend using this. Now, another thing to worry about. So I'm gonna get rid of sun rays because I'm not using them. Bloom. Bloom is the is just the intensity of everything. So we're talking, we're talking uh, lights in general. So sun, fire, everything. Now, if you do look at my neon color, this is normally works with neon lighting. Size is like the bloom of the size. So. Every time I change this, it goes lower, brighter. Intensity, we got. We can take that all the way up. We can take it all the way down. Um, threshold, this is another thing to worry about. Honestly, if you do want to make this like just a bright thing, I would go down all the way. But if you want, I would keep it uh, around the middle. It's a nice thing to worry about. But yeah. Um. So that's pretty much it, to be honest. Uh, lighting is just uh something you got to learn. Um, but this is just a really easy tutorial. Like, I, you guys will be understanding how to do it. If you guys are looking for lights and stuff, um, you're, they're easy to find. Like, dynamically lit lantern is something I always use. Um, very nice, very nice. Um, but, you know, just do whatever you want when you're coming to these lights. And, uh, you'll get used to them really fast. And depending on how you want your game, then, yeah, that's just, that's just how it is. Uh... 
But, like I said, there's just all these things. The lights, the point lights, how you want them, the range. Oh, yeah, I didn't really explain that. Point light, there's ranges of how you much you want them. And also what I didn't sh explain, which I was trying to show you, is the shadows. So now if I go to the shadows, um, if you were to go down here and put it up darker, it makes it way more darker and stuff like that. So that's something to realize. But, uh, yeah. So that's pretty much it for my tutorial. If you guys like to see more later, just let me know. I'm probably going to be doing another one just soon here, right after this one. Um, but, yeah. So this is the lighting tutorial. Let me know if you have any comments and just recommendations, and I'll do some. Thank you.